Hi, welcome to our channel True Up. The advancement of science and technology is inextricably linked to the promotion of chips, particularly in light of the current worldwide scarcity of cores, which elevates the relevance of chips to a new level. Low-end chips are the present, whereas high-end chips represent the future. The globe is also very competitive in the sector of high-end chips, and every firm wants to occupy a bigger portion of the worldwide market in order to catch the pulse of future technological development. China, on the other hand, is rarely seen in this sector. Why? Indeed, this is due to China's lack of EUV capable of making high-end chips. Despite ASML's repeated boycotts of China, China has continued to make advances in the field of EUV lithography, and the Chinese Academy of Sciences has made fresh contributions. So, how essential will the EUV lithography equipment be to China once it is localized? What challenges and pitfalls will China encounter in establishing EUV localization, aside from key technologies? The Chinese Academy of Sciences is encouraging the localization of EUV, which is good news for China. Shanghai's pandemic scenario is steadily improving. During the anti-epidemic time in Shanghai, however, the spreading epidemic did not slow the speed of scientific research, nor did it slow scientific researchers from reaching the pinnacle of science and technology. According to a media source on May 6, the Chinese Academy of Sciences Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics accomplished three key technical advances during the lockdown period. The research and development of the edging glass for N41 neodymium glass, which is the core optical component of the National Big Special Project, is one of the three key technical successes. Rapidly growing technology These three technologies are quite professional in and of themselves. I won't go into detail about them here. We simply require one piece of information. The first two achievements are inextricably linked to the basic technology of the EUV lithography equipment. The optical components are the first item, and the reflection exposure mechanism is the second. This demonstrates that, in terms of localization of EUV lithography equipment, China has clearly won a few pieces of the jigsaw. Localization realization might be considered a step forward. So, how crucial is it to China if China successfully completes the great problem of EUV lithography machine? So, how important is China's EUV lithography machine? There is only one way to break the ice for the China core, which is still in its early stages. China must develop its own EUV lithography equipment. You should be aware that the EUV lithography equipment, which costs 120 million US dollars, is incredibly advanced. It encompasses about 100,000 accessories in addition to the three basic technologies, and its suppliers are located all over the world. Not only did ASML target China, but it also said unequivocally that China could not produce EUVs while creating designs for China. Even Chinese experts once thought that China's self-developed EUV equipment had little hope. But you must understand that cutting-edge technology is likewise man-made, not God-made, and that, in the face of U.S. repression and sanctions, China has no choice but to break through the monopoly of EUV equipment at whatever cost. Given the relatively long research and development cycle of lithography equipment and the numerous technological constraints. As a result, I believe it is difficult for domestic lithography machine makers to offer SMIC with equipment support and help. Indeed, the backwardness of lithography machine technology is not limited to China. Even nations with more lithography machine manufacturing capability, such as Japan, South Korea, and the United States, lag behind in high-end lithography machine research and development. Currently, the Dutch business ASML is the only company in the world that can make EUV lithography machines in the high-end lithography machine market. The Global Semiconductor Association published a study on 2021 semiconductor sales on February 14. According to this research, worldwide semiconductor sales totaled 555.9 billion US dollars, with the Chinese consumer sector contributing 192.5 billion. Furthermore, according to the most recent national import and export customs figures from China this year, the import value and quantity of China's integrated circuits have increased year after year. As can be seen, 
China's demand for semiconductors is also quite robust. Once the more modern EUV lithography equipment is localized, it will likely reduce demand for Chinese chips, particularly high-end processors. Development and advancement are still highly beneficial. Furthermore, ASML released their 2021 financial report on January 19 of this year. According to this financial report, ASML generated net sales of 18.6 billion euros in 2021, a 35% rise year-on-year, -year, and a net profit of 5.9 billion euros, a 63.9% increase year-on-year. It is clear from this that the consumer market for lithography machine items is still rather considerable. And the massive consumer market may not be able to provide many economic advantages. As a result, even if the EUV lithography machine is genuinely localized in the future, it may not be able to bring in a large amount of GDP and establish a firm economic basis for China's development and prosperity. EUV lithography, on the other hand, is always a high-end technique and belongs to the high-end area. It may not be easy sailing in the development of localization. So, given the existing scenario, what challenges would China face in developing EUV? ASML Chief Financial Officer Roger Dason officially disclosed on April 20 this year that ASML would be able to build 70 EUV lithography equipment per year by 2025. This indicates that ASML's lithography machine's manufacturing capacity will be considerably stronger in the future, which means that ASML's competitive pressure in the area of lithography machines will also rise. This in no way jeopardizes the development of homegrown EUV lithography equipment. Furthermore, China's localization of EUV lithography machines is a challenge, and it is affecting the United States' position in the semiconductor industry. After all, once local EUV lithography equipment are effectively applied, the U.S. technology will be rendered obsolete. China the core's growth will be more inexorable. The U.S. should not sit back and watch this crisis play out, or it will likely take action. Finally, according to press sources, Canon of Japan will begin building a lithography equipment for semiconductor 3D technology on April 1, with an exposure area four times that of the existing EUV. Previously, ASML produced a more sophisticated EUV lithography equipment with a NA value of 0.55. These more modern items may not necessarily reach the Chinese market in today's economic globalization, nor may they block the growth of China's domestic EUV at home and abroad, which is plainly another danger. In conclusion, the domestic EUV lithography machine has once again made a breakthrough, breaking through core important technologies and the Chinese Academy of Sciences has once again made significant contributions to the Chinese chip industry. Of course, even while progress is being made, China cannot relax. The current worldwide rivalry is very strong, notably in the semiconductor industry. I look forward to China's continuous efforts in the future to solve more and more challenges in the field of EUV lithography machine localization. Looking forward to Made in China's sparkling excellence in this industry. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.